This is a good idea. What do you think, Yoda? You ready? Yeah, you're ready. We are officially on passage. That is awesome. Finally. We have been trying to get insurance for about a month. And because we didn't realize it was going to be a big deal. We had no idea that it was going to be difficult. But it was really a process. It was the first quote we got was really just out of our budget. It seems that U.S. flag vessels insurance is more expensive. We dropped the U.S. East Coast coverage because we're going from the Bahamas to Panama. Yeah. Where on our way uh, today, there is really no wind, which we're fine with because the first portion of our trip is probably going to, if there is wind, going to be upwind. Yeah. So, we're crossing the Gulf Stream. Yep. We're going to Great Inagua from Miami. It says it'll take us three days, nine hours to get there. So, we'll probably anchor, then sleep, and then check the weather of course and next weather window we will head down to Panama. We were thrilled this morning when we got the email that there was a company offering coverage within our budget even though it's still a lot of money. But it's what we had kind of planned for. Yeah. So we didn't receive the email and we can like maybe an hour to hour. Two hours max. We were like, we got the insurance. Okay. Fire the engine. And there are two ways to the Panama to Florida. One is to, to uh, head east to uh, Great Inagua and then cross to uh, Cuba in the middle and then on the west, on the west course to Panama. Or come down like, to go to Florida towards the Key West and, and then south to Mexico and Cuba and uh, I think there's a lot of current against you. We have to go kind of close to uh, uh, Honduras and uh, there's some piracy there that's going to avoid. So I find that this, this truck will be safe for us. Yep. Plus, if we, if we need to stop at any point, we may, you know, there are some places where we could be like, okay, let's head there and we can stop. Yeah. As we motored through Biscayne Bay, it was almost daring us to leave. Water so clear we could see turtles swimming on the bottom. Patches of thick sargassum, no doubt, with fish pecking at critters beneath it. And even dolphins escorting us on our way out of Florida. Such a beautiful send-off from a place we called home for 16 years. We soon raised the sails and pointed our bows southeast to cross the Gulf Stream, and offshore processes like laying jack lines commenced. A huge thank you to our patrons. We are so grateful for your support. If you'd like real-time updates and additional content, consider joining the Harbors Unknown community on Patreon. This morning half so clear a lot as any To see the horizon in the far Excuse If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. How do you feel about lunch? I'm hungry. Yeah, I'd like to eat something too. Alright, so what do you mean? Um, I was thinking the coleslaw with some oh, yeah. the tuna or the I also want to make those uh, little potatoes though. Oh, awesome. Yes, I want to make those good. Cool. Fabio's idea. 
apple cider vinegar, a little bit of mayo, sriracha, because we love everything a little spicy, some Cholula, adobo. It's a blend of different spices. Find this everywhere in Florida. And pepper. No olive oil? Oh yeah, olive oil too, that's right. You cannot eat anything without olive oil. No. <laughs> I always feel like when I'm first mixing it up, I never have enough stuff, but then I just need to be patient because it seems to kind of work out. And by stuff, I mean condiments. <laughs> now we can add our wild caught salmon from Chicken of the Sea. So I don't know how wild it is, but that's what the marketing proclaims. And this is great while you're on passage because it's nice and kind of easy. You know, you're just you're chopping some stuff, but you don't have to cook anything. And we're just gonna mix it all up. really good. I love the pickle juice in there. These are the, the zesty dill spears. That's the first time we've used that in there and it definitely makes it zesty. About the same age, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I know. Good. They're creamy potatoes. Creamy potatoes. <laughs> and oh. they're nice and tangy. Yeah. We're starting our trip finally, hopefully. I know. <laughs> yeah. Hard to yes, finally starting our sailing around the world feels like we've gotten a couple of false starts. We did. When we were anchored in Miami and you were like, oh, maybe we should go back to Fort Lauderdale. I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> we always uh, do this thing on YouTube where you sail around the world with the wind and the freedom of a sailboat. I know. The reality is there's a lot of constraints still. So. Yeah, absolutely, as we found out. Obviously, weather is number one because that dictates when you can go and really where you can go if you want to leave then you may have to go to a different place right and then insurance in our case yeah. definitely yeah. played a big part in where we could go like we couldn't go to Colombia because we couldn't find coverage taking out the u.s east coast we saved a lot of money and had access to ins uh, an insurer that i guess didn't have a license right. to provide insurance in the U.S. You also have your health. Yes. Your health to really dictates uh, many things, where you can go. Absolutely. It worked out okay so far. Yeah. We've got wind. It's only like six to 10 knots today, but it's directly on our nose. And, you know, yes, we could sail off the, you know, we could go off the wind to sail, but. We really can't attack very much. No, we don't, yeah. Because we are between shallow water and the uh, shipping lane in the uh, in the channel in Cuba and Bahamas. Right, right, right. Yeah, so we don't have a lot of room to tack. So 
Iron sales it is. Yeah. <laughs> Anything well. Mm-hmm. And just like that, we settled into the rhythm of passage life, listening to audiobooks mesmerized by turquoise water and cotton candy-like clouds, enjoying time at the bow when conditions allowed, remaining in the cockpit when they did not, trying to stay dry, salt-free, and rested. Yoda did get seasick once, but she's 
okay now. She's happiest when she's with us, so right now she's enjoying the aloe that's on my legs. The rhythm of tacking, reefing, taking watch, eating, and resting set the beat of our days rather than sunrise and sunset. That is the life of a sailor on the sea. Definitely not glamorous, but absolutely rewarding. We feel accomplished navigating these circumstances to our next port. waves of 10, 12 foot, we were going straight into it, so tacking back and forth between the Bahamas flat with shallow waters at points and the shipping lanes just north of Cuba. We had to take reefs up and down, first, second, third reef because the wind was changing constantly. And then last night, in the middle of the night, as we were thinking to do probably the last tack before entering the channel, we were going on the second reef and we had uh, a window reaching maybe 23, 20, 24 knots uh, hair. It wasn't that bad at that point. And all of a sudden I heard a loud, loud noise and I looked up and the sail was gone. The uh, top, the head of the sail, the, there's an aluminum plate that holds the sand, which is the sail on top to, to attach the halyard, ripped right through, and the entire thing fell down. Thankfully, we were heading so much into the wind that the entire sail fell into the stack bag in a way that I've never been able to stack before. <laughs> but the boom was not, no longer support, so it hit the coach roof and made a loud noise. So uh, at that point, we secured the sail and decided to motor to Great Denago, which we've been doing for the past uh, 10 hours. It's a rough going, again, against the wind, against the waves, uh, but we're, and we're very, very tired and we'll be looking forward to uh, taking a respite and uh, trying to fix this uh, very rig this sail in our boy. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. I just spotted land for the first time in almost five days. We're almost at Great Inagua, just under five miles to go. I cannot wait. Eyes crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Right. With you and I, the future is bright. 